Hey everybody, what's going on? Just a lazy Saturday afternoon here at the Lunsford house, so I just wanted to do a quick video on, on showing how I pack my parachute. I know there's hundreds of videos on YouTube about the right way to pack a parachute. Um, just kind of wanted to show what I do. Uh, I, I never leave the, leave the parachutes packed while the car sits for an extended period of time, so um, I've got the, the one parachute thrown from the last race I was at and getting the car out of the trailer and doing a little bit of maintenance for before we go to Georgia here in a couple weeks, so just wanted to do a quick video um, getting the parachutes packed and, and kind of seeing what I do at home before we head out for the next race. This is exactly how I got the car out of the trailer. So we went to a race, kind of local, uh, made a bunch of rounds, kind of a, always do like a, a quick damage assessment. Um, you know, make sure uh, nothing crazy's happened. Obviously, you know, lost part of a taillight lens last time we were out. I've got, uh, I've got a little bit of oil to clean up from the, uh, from the catch can in the back. Uh, we were at a quarter mile track, so I only throw one parachute when we're at a long track. Uh, kinda speeds up between round maintenance, but you know, just kinda do a quick walk around, make sure nothing crazy jumps out at you. Um, everything seems to be okay. You know, um, car starts and runs fine. You know, it's important with these cars on methanol that you, if the car's gonna be sitting for an ex for extended period of time, you pull the injectors and, and put some kind of penetrant in the injectors so they don't rust up and, and get all gross. But try to keep the car started, you know, no longer than, than two weeks for it to sit not running. So that's kind of what I, what I do. The, at the end of most tracks, I just get out and turn the CO2 bottle off, cool the car down. Um, you know, I've, uh, the chutes are CO2 activated, so um, there's a switch down here. You flip off to, to disarm the CO2. But kind of what I do once I get back to the to the trailer, you know, I just I kind of neatly try to throw the parachute up on the wing. But you'll uh, you'll kind of unbunch your mess and get it straightened out. And it's, uh, it's important that you um, get it all untangled. And then on most parachutes, there'll be a little tab right here that helps you untangle everything. So what I do, I don't know if it's normal. I just have this be my top and run my fingers through and get it to where it's all straight again. So, and sometimes it might take you a second to, uh, to get everything unraveled, but I just take a Hold it back and then start using your fingers to kind of interweb. And then you need to get your pilot chute where it needs to be. So it is ready to start holding up now. So I uh, just kind of lay it out like that and then get this pilot chute. This is the first part that throws out. So turn it to where it catches wind when it gets thrown. It'll be like that. So and then I always just put this out like that and then I circle as I uh, as I'm going. So 
And then I do what's called a Z fold on the parachute. So kind of do one of these. All right. So now that I've got that parachute all folded up, ready to go in the bag, get the bag and then get your pilot rope circled in there, pick up your chute, and then have it go pilot rope in first. Kind of just pack everything in here. Try not to get leaves in. <laughs> So, that's all in there. Now you've got all this, this rope. So, what I do is if I have a helper, they just walk around with a bag, walk the bag while I circle everything in. But you just wanna Z fold or, or circle the rope in the bag as you're walking. So if you're by yourself, you might need to you know, take a second, make sure it's all going in nice. And then once you get closer to the car, I just set the bag up on the wing get the little last bit of it in there. And then fold the flap over everything. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, and now we're ready to, uh, to put the bag in here. So um, I usually keep some rope in the car might work for people might not but I never seem to lose it I install it on the cage like so so that's where it always is so um, just take it off and then once the uh, so I match the shoots so I'll have you know each cord going in the same way I think visually it looks a lot better that way I prefer them on the outside, but just kind of try to neatly get everything packed in here on these flaps. Use a hip. All right, and on this cord, Basically, you'll start at the top here, and then I'll just go to the bottom. Make sure everything's kind of nice and tight. This one seems just a little crooked, but we'll do. And then give it a give it a nice little little yank. Try to get everything. You can always go back and once it's packed and and fix a little bit, but so trying to put my butt in your face, but always nice using a hip to keep everything steady. So got the rope in there, and then the very last thing I always pull towards the end of the the wire. So. It's back. So, see the rope's a little bit tighter than the other side. So I usually just kind of 
yank on it, try to get them even up, and then, uh, you know, as far as the chutes go, we're ready. If we go to an eighth mile track, just pull this pin out and install this cable, and then both will be functioning. But I'll kind of show you real quick how, you know, when we're in the, the car will stay like that while, you know, after after around all the way up into the staging lanes, then once we're about to go up to the line, the CO2 runs our parachutes, our shifter, our boost controller, our, our wastegate. So um, I'll just kind of crack this bottle on real quick and show you how to activate the chutes. So that bottle's cracked on, and then kind of one of the one of the crew jobs before I go up to the line. Uh, I've got the, the parachutes on a button on the steering wheel, so this switch right here Activates the chute so see how it's hard right now, so um, After a run just uh, undo that and they'll, they'll go soft again So if the chutes aren't activated the the button on the steering wheel won't work, but I still have a backup lever on the on the cage to to pull them uh, in the case of you know a failure an emergency something like that, so that's kind of, that's how I do it. Um, it's uh, worked good for me. If, uh, if you guys have any other questions or anything else you want to see, put a, put a comment down below. I'd be happy to do some, some walkthroughs or, or anything, you know, diesel truck, race car, anything related. So let us know what you guys like to see and we'll be happy to make some videos for you. Thanks.